Respect and we love Bob Bowman, despite the hard times he may give us. Oh, oh, swim swam, come on. I'll give swim swam some prediction credit too. He's already forgot. How many wasted pages of predictions have we had? Wasted pages? A lot of page hits. A lot of hits, a lot of hits. That's right. We all love playing the prediction game. 153.6, how'd that work out? That's right, I predicted a 153.6 for the 200 meter butterfly. And everyone essentially said I was an idiot. I actually thought it was pretty fast. I said, don't put that out there. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fast. So for everyone out there making conservative predictions, you were right in line with Bob Bowman. And then Michael Phelps went to 152.9 and made us all wrong. I don't know how I missed this media, but it's perfect timing to release with Team Phelps and Bowman heading to the Minneapolis Pro Swim and on the ramp up for the 2016 Olympic Games. Let's start with Michael Phelps' mind, his psychological muscle. Bob had a very insightful point about everything that Phelps has gone through. Listen. You know, all this stuff's new weight on it. Mm -hmm. he's, he's dealt with a lot of stuff and dealt with it well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I'm very proud of him for that because it would have easily broken a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They're just gone away. Is Phelps, according to Bowman, at his 2007-2008 performance level. Yeah, that's a no-brainer, yeah. Is 2016 all about best times? And to be specific, it's about times faster than the tech suit era. For the sport, that's where we got to go. And I think that's what, how we look at that. You know what I mean? It's, it would be quite an achievement to do some of those, right? It would be really good. Phelps is going to be 31 years old in 2016. Is seven events on the table for the 2016 Olympic Trials and the Olympic Games? It's probably too many. If not seven events, what's Bob thinking? You know, I'm thinking, you know, we want him, if he wanted some relays, that would be great, three of those, mm -hmm. and then have to pick some events carefully, the individuals. So three relays, three individual, which three? Well, it's kind of hard not to look at those three, right? <laughs> the best in the world. Six events. That puts Phelps in play for potentially 28 Olympic medals over his entire career. What about the 200 free? Phelps has to put up some fast 200 frees to prove his value on the 4x200 freestyle relay. I mean, there's definitely something he'll do, and he'll do enough of them to prove that he should be on the relay if it, there needs to be proof. <laughs> but I don't think I don't there think does. But you know, he'll, it also helps his IM, right? So when he works on 200 free, it helps the end of the IM. What about taper? Phelps is older, bigger, more muscle. He needs more rest. We know that Bob Bowman is uncomfortable with long tapers. Yeah, I went longer this time. It scared me to death. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I had to back off him quite a bit longer than I normally would. And you know, I'm one of these guys that like, I have a couple tapers that I think work really well. So I always refer to them, like, you know, as we do things. So I kind of make sure we're in the range. We were way under this time. Like I said, I can't go with that. I got to cut it back. Phelps has got to taper twice next summer, something he's done masterfully in the past. Is that an issue next summer, considering he'll need more rest? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think the, the thing that makes the second meet good is if you go back to some form of work in between, whatever that is. And it's probably two, two thirds three quarters of what he did previous to that. So if he's doing less, I'll go less. But that's a good point. No predictions this time. Okay, just one. Based on what Bob said, I'm saying Phelps will swim six races in his career with 28 Olympic medals. What color those six will be, that's entirely up to you. I thought he would not be here this year, so I have no idea. He's always surprising me. 